Welcome to the Traders Show. This show is brought to you by Pepperstone. Pepperstone is an award-winning online global forex and CFD broker. It offers unparalleled service, exceptional pricing, and fast execution speed. Pepperstone gives you access into the global markets with more trading opportunities, fast class customer service, and peace of mind. Withdrawals are quick, and for those in Kenya, M-Pesa is enabled. Pepperstone Markets is regulated by the Capital Markets Authority. To open an account with Pepperstone, you can click the links on the descriptions below. Hey guys, welcome back to our podcast here, uh, The Traders Show, brought to you by Financial Hub and Pepperstone. Um, today, we have an interesting topic where we're going to talk about, we'll give a number of different ways in how you can improve your trading psychology. Okay, psychology, as Ken says, is very, very important. To Ken, it's the most important thing that can help you improve and become a very, very good trader, psychology. But without knowing these different points, you might not even know what to improve on. So we'll talk about them uh, mainly from our experience, what we've gone through. We've been trading for the past five years plus right now. And we've gone through the ups and downs emotionally, um, account-wise, changing our strategies, but what stands out the most that will always be worked on, always day in, day out, and you'll never master it is trading psychology. And this is what we believe is what makes trading become very, very difficult, okay? So today we'll talk about it, a few pointers. Uh, we all have something to share. We'll give you guys, and most of you will be able to relate with what we're talking about. So that's it from me. Uh, let the boys introduce themselves, then we'll start. Taras. Hello, hello. Greetings, traders. So uh, my name is Taras Lawi and welcome to another episode of the Traders Show. I'm glad to have uh, to join my boys here and share content with you guys every, uh, every Thursday. And it's being dropped every Friday. So make sure you always uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, so that you get these uh, prompts easily. So as Caleb has introduced the topic, we are back into trading psychology. Uh, we've had a couple of guests here and there in business and entrepreneurship and now we are back into trading and uh, we are f focusing on trading psychology. So we've had a, a previous podcast on psychology, I think, but now today we are going now to talk about ways of improving your trading psychology. So uh, we have a few pointers we, uh, we will share. Uh, comes from basic experience, from learning from other traders also, from reading a lot. And uh, I think uh, you will enjoy this show. So stay tuned. So hello, hello, traders. Welcome back to another episode. Uh, just like my colleagues have said, I'm Ken. Uh, today we're going to be talking about trading psychology. But before we go into the topic, I think it's important for us, first of all, to say thank you very, very much to our fans, the people who've been watching us, the people who've been following up on our content. Uh, on Thursday, I think on Thursday or on Tuesday, I'm not sure. Okay, today's on Thursday. So it must be on Tuesday. On Tuesday, we got featured on the Daily Nation. Uh, so we had a small article that was talking about our story. And we are grateful for the few people who reached out to us. For the people who've known us, welcome to the Financial Hub community. Our job basically is to try and help you improve your trading. Uh, trading is a bit, bit tough. It's a bit challenging. And there's a lot that you need to work on for you to become consistently profitable. And in your journey, we can help you uh, cut that journey. So welcome to the community. Hope you learn a thing or two. Uh, there's a backlog of things that you should be watching if you're new. But if you've been following us, keep watching, keep learning, and give us some suggestions on what you'd like covered. So like my friends have said, today we're going to dive a bit deeper into trading psychology. Uh, I like saying there are three main branches of trading. Or there are three things that you really need to understand before you become a good trader. One is the system, the methodology. And the system basically quantifies the market behavior. So if the market, let's say, moves 100 ticks and you believe this market shouldn't move 100 ticks, then it's time for you to sell. Uh, if the market, for example, if you're a big believer in trend following, there are tools that you use to follow the trend. Uh, if you're a big believer in contrarian trading, there are tools you use to do your contrarian trading. Basically, what you need to do for you to have a perfect system is to do away with your opinion and focus on what the market is doing and follow that. That's one. Then the second thing you need to understand is come up with a good risk management framework. If I have a million shillings, how do I trade to ensure I attain my objective, which maybe is to return 6, 7, 8% per month without having a big drawdown? So how do I calibrate my risk, knowing how many opportunities I'll have for me to be able to do that? Because in the market, there are patterns that keep on repeating. In simple terms, there are statistically reliable patterns. And if you combine those patterns with some good risk to reward objectives and 
you position size accordingly then it's very very easy to tailor make your system or to tailor make your trading uh, to earn a certain percentage consistently from the market so that's the second thing you need to do and finally the third thing you need to do is to now work on your trading psychology uh, the first two things can be very intact but if the last one is not intact then there's no money to be made because if you're not uh, disciplined to follow your system if you have not learned how to put your emotions aside if you still take boredom trades if you still uh, are not disciplined to follow your method then it becomes impossible for you to make money consistently yes you can make money here and there but you may find that in the markets you're not generating profits consistently so today we are not going to go through the first two topics we are going to focus on psychology and to start off i think i'll use my personal experience like caleb said i believe psychology contributes 99.9% of your trading success it's very easy for me to teach you how i trade for me to show you the patterns that i watch but it's impossible for you to replicate my psychological experience in the market and it's that that makes it very very hard for you to learn to trade and makes it uh makes it take some time that's that's what i was looking for so it takes them some time before you can be able to generate profits consistently in the market so my first point i'd say is if you really really want to understand trading psychology uh deeply immerse yourself in psychological literature by that i mean read a lot uh, you need to understand behavioral finance from the perspective of reading and there are very many books written on trading psychology which cover different topics uh Like right now I'm reading a book called The Hour Between Dog and Wolf. That's a book on trading psychology but from a neuroscience perspective. So the author was uh, someone who was trading before he turned to neuroscience to try and understand the behavior of traders. So he looks at traders from a neuroscience perspective. I've read books like The Disciplined Trader, The Daily Trading Coach, uh, Trading in the Zone, uh, Works by Van Tapp, who was a trading psychologist but recently passed. So there's a lot of psychological literature that you need to deeply immerse yourself in. And what that helps you do is for you to quantify your behaviors. Like it's very easy for now for you to now understand when you fall into some patterns. This is where I'm going, this is what is happening to me, this is why I'm like this. And there are also tips on how to watch yourself, how to observe yourself, how to calibrate your psychology into the right uh, framework for trading. For example, in the Discipline Trader, the last chapter which is chapter 16, The Magdala specifically does a very very good job of sharing with you steps that you can take to master psychological success and one of the basic steps is for you to do a simple exercise which uh, is simple so I'll also give you the same exercise then I'll pass it on to to my friends to give you their tips but uh, the exercise Douglas recommends which is something that really really helped me to eliminate conflict in how I look at markets is uh, write up your trading plan and your plan should basically have three things in a nutshell uh one is where you're coming into the market where you're coming out of the market and how much you're willing to risk of the markets so once you do that have the discipline to follow that plan for 25 trade setups without caring whether you win or lose so just execute based on your plan for 25 setups don't look at whether you won or lost uh, or whether this trade worked out just put your variables and have the discipline to follow them after 25 trades you'll have eliminated conflicts by conflict i mean there are very many times where traders go through conflict you've seen an opportunity it doesn't meet your criteria but you feel like you should take it that's conflict uh, you've seen an opportunity it meets your criteria but you're fearful you may lose money that's conflict uh, you've seen an opportunity it looks good but because you lost last time you don't want to take it that's conflict if you still have some of these problems it's very very hard for you to make money consistently in the markets you need to pre-program your mind to be able to be flawless your decision making should be automated uh, if i see a certain signal i take a trade if i see a certain pattern i don't take a trade uh, if i see a certain thing i exit the markets if i see a certain thing i risk this percentage if you don't have stringent or simple trading rules like that that you stick to then it's impossible for you to make money that's the first exercise that I'd give you to improve your trading psychology and I'll pass it on to my friends to share with you more tips yeah so <clears throat> i also agree with ken reading books is a very very important aspect and i believe uh, that reading books will help you become aware of your psychology and that of the masses yeah yeah and also me i've read a couple just like 
Ta- Ken has said, uh, works of one tap. Even others which are not really related to trading, but are psychology books like The Chimp Paradox. Yeah. It was a full book on psychology. So, so look for such books. They'll really help. And then the next thing, once, like I've said, what I'm saying, become aware is become, because once you're aware of certain points, you won't, you'll be, un- is it consciously or unconsciously? Consciously aware. Yeah, you just know them. But now practicing, you're, you're different. Like I know maybe I should not be fearful or something but when you come to trading you're still fearful like unconsciously you're, you, you're still you you need to change yourself so yeah. i think the next thing that now uh, needs to come and change uh, or you need to do so that you can improve is trade live markets okay so go live demo you'll just be aware that people are normally greedy but you're like me i'm not i've changed my my system is nice i take my target at this level stop loss kigongo like you you think you have a good system but you cannot and you will not improve your trading unless you go live put real money on the table risk it yeah. um uh, we've seen that personally as we've seen it be- within ourselves uh, there's a time we really traded for a long time on demo accounts thinking we're really improving we came back to real and discovered that yes we had learned a few things but most of what we've learned over the years like n- like what Ken is saying 99% of our success is based on also trading the live markets because that's where we've known where r- real money happens we were talking with also another one of our interns yesterday and we saw we they went li- we went live on this account we are trading and we were talking with him and we dis- he discovered trading psychology is one of the most imp- he went he's been trading his system nicely for a good one month up profitable then just one day a whole mistake is made because of your psychology so you can only see this on a live account okay there's some people who believe and we're still yet to prove them wrong like Ken in the team and the other people those who are saying uh, what did you do they'll see well, some people but people believe like psychology is not all that but we believe psychology is very very much it it will affect how you trade your system how much you risk in the market all those your risk appetite it's very very uh, wide okay so my main point number one is go live trade live markets and experience that pain that fear of losing money even if it's a small account it doesn't have to be a big account just try with your hundred dollars and see how much pain and your emotional roller coaster you're going to go through the highs the lows the fears the greediness you know so that's my main point number one. after you read the books you become aware you've learned this system you've made a system even if it's not perfect go and trade it on a live market don't wait for perfection to go live go trade on the live market and pay attention to what you're going to do because you're going to learn the most out of yourself okay nice so for me i think i'll add on to your point uh, on going live and it's uh point that um psychological ca- psychological challenges comes when you're exposed to risk mm-hmm. the uncertainty in the markets is what brings psychological challenges and uh you're saying live because now in live market is where there's risk true exactly so the point now for me that is why i i, I always intertwine risk and psychology mm-hmm. you can never break them apart so mm-hmm. uh the two things have to work even like uh your 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 technical or your idea generation can be a bit work like you can be maybe picking trades you have a 30% hit rate mm-hmm. but in terms of risk reward and your confidence in applying that system as Ken is saying if i lose today or tomorrow i'm still doing the same same thing mm-hmm. is now for me what i believe is the most challenging in trading mm-hmm. and it affects our trading now because um you also have to understand how markets work mm-hmm. market is purely driven by greed and fear mm-hmm. so those two aspects are also purely psychological. Mm-hmm. Uh in trading some people uh the market a big a big percentage of market participants mm-hmm. are uh on those two sides of of uh of the of of, of, of the uh how do I put it of the beam balance basically like uh greed and fear. Mm-hmm. So market in a try to balance greed and fear. And if you don't know how to balance that greed and fear, it yeah. will be very very hard for you to stay consistent in applying that system you've traded. Mm-hmm. And um uh, that is where now like uh your psychological challenges uh mm-hmm. destroys your risk management framework destroys mm-hmm. your your technical approach uh you're greedy mm-hmm. your setup when you my setup maybe you have a checklist you know I, I know your setup maybe has to tick some certain criteria but the fact that you're fearful you have form or you're fearful that i will miss this return ama i will miss this opportunity you enter the market before some things th- Tick. So psychology is what basically destroys your risk and what destroys your technical setup and that is what leads to inconsistency. And that's the same thing we're discussing with the 
intern yesterday yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so uh what is that sorry sorry what was i saying risk and psychology yeah exactly so risk, your setup. Uh, psychology is what will cuz trading is all about actions like if you don't do an action there will be no reaction no no mm-hmm. this for trade there's no way i lose yeah there's no way i will win True. so i have to come and trade mm-hmm. so the fact that i have to first of all put myself into that uh position where i can be greedy i can also be fearful is what mm-hmm. actually now puts you at that uh point whereby you are you're susceptible to making these mistakes and now as we're saying that, that is the psychological part of it how do you improve it mm-hmm. number one is to understand that you like, uh, uh, as humans like your normal mental state mm-hmm. is not wired for trading how mm-hmm. do i make money in trading with the mentality of a normal human and tembea kwa streets human Very nature mm-hmm. the human nature is not wired for this game like you are you are you are, you are why are you condani mm. you fear and greed in every human yeah so in trading you need to know how how do i tame them yeah so and those are the things you need to work on so how do you rewire your brain first of all you can't rewire your brain before you understand who you are mm-hmm. you need no, to understand yourself when if i could you me mitaras i'm a very disciplined very impatient trader very uh impulsive mm-hmm. you know yourself first then mm-hmm. you can work on those things so point is as you want to rewire yourself your brain know yourself like know thyself first you mm-hmm. to mimi this is how i am naturally like in the normal now you are human state mm-hmm. you know this is who you are you're impatient mm-hmm. you're disciplined mm-hmm. you're erratic mm-hmm. you are inconsistent even in, in how you do your things mm-hmm. and uh now you know that now how do you change that mm. nasema okay hapa kwa impatient how will i work on it i will put checklists so mm-hmm. maybe if i need to enter a trade i have this checklist like the ones you 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 helped me with mm-hmm. so before you enter a trade and for me actually I had that problem of of impulsivity mm-hmm. and it really really helped me so uh from for working uh, on my impulsivity your checklist too i wake yeah. up in the morning checklist checklist me tick me tick me tick psychologically am i confident mm-hmm. If I take everything I will take the trade very very confidently. Mm-hmm. Even if I lose I know I will still take the same same setup the next day. Mm-hmm. But the problem is in trading as a how do you are impatient so mm-hmm. you won't even work on that. Mm-hmm. So you to take two trade ukidani the setup is ripe. So you don't know you don't have I don't know how to put a checklist so me can I can say to rewire your brain like and that is why trading is difficult like kuna vitu nitty gritty you know kuna impatience very small yani mm-hmm. inconsistency indiscipline mm-hmm. mm, lack of self awareness juju mm-hmm. kwanza mm. so if you if if you lack all those like cuz you need to work on everything yeah, yeah. come on impulsivity how do you work on it come on your confidence how mm-hmm. do you work on it come on mm-hmm. fear how do you work on it so basically it's a, it's a, 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 and that's why trading psychology learning it takes time mm-hmm. cuz system we always teach systems in mm. month yeah but so like the challenge um says and they could develop that Psychology. mental framework and is different from the normal person in the streets for sure takes years mm-hmm. and cuz him work on the core shida yako maybe ilikuwa impatience mm na next year umewaki impatience mm-hmm. next year another problem comes a whole year eh eh is it to go angry right so point is always always know how you will rewire your brain like no first you need to rewire your brain then how you will do it uh-huh. so if it's uh, if it's impatience that is one thing i do checklist if it's uh fear uh self talk yeah before you just enter a trade talk to yourself or before you exit a trade mm-hmm. talk to yourself too before you just put that buy sell button, button mm-hmm. julize to why am i exiting this trade is it because of fear ama the setup in my sema ni okay mm-hmm. Just that questioning yourself to say sana kusema okay this is fear and the moment now that comes to self so you're consciously I'm exiting this trade because of fear and most likely will not exit the trade so point is um always know what you want to work on like you can never work on what you don't know mm-hmm. so if you if, if you don't know yourself first your weaknesses you can't turn them into your strengths yeah. so point is uh trading psychology the challenge comes in first of all as most of us most people are not self aware mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you we can't even work on those things no mana you know but it may take four years now to learn anything in the markets because you, you don't know thyself mm-hmm. so first of all know thyself know your weaknesses mm-hmm. turn them to your strengths mm-hmm. i think i can start there okay <clears throat> i think for me to to just uh add on what you're saying uh not really add on but to remove something from what you've said 
personally i don't believe we trade we trade uh, markets we don't trade markets we trade our beliefs about the market mm-hmm. uh, our subjective experience of the market is very very different that's why one man is in a trade and it pulls back he sees an opportunity to scale in another one it pulls back he is out of the market another one it he it, it pulls back he'll just hold it expecting it to go back to his target so how we experience the market is completely subjective it's not even based on like i can take the same setup but how we manage the setup how we interpret the moves is very very different and you need now to sit down and work on how you subjectively experience the market for example like you are saying there are perceived threats and there are real threats in the market uh-huh. so for example if you're in a trade and it's not working to your favor and you've started losing and it's moving towards your stop loss that's that's a real threat like uh-huh. your money is, is you've lost on this trade uh-huh. it's it's a real threat not in the form of uh you've lost money or you've blown your account but it's a real threat in the point of for example like for me if i'm in a trade ideally i lose about $1000 on every trade so if i'm in a trade and i lose $1000 that's that's okay because mm-hmm. it's not a threat to my account because i have a big account so it's not really a threat but now when you're trading and you have $2000 and you lose $1000 on one trade mm-hmm. now that's psychologically destabilizing yep. it's very very hard for you to get yourself out of uh, that mental state and bring yourself back into trading consistently when you've just gone through a 50% road difficult it's very very difficult right so the the, <coughs> the thing i tell many people is understand the interception of risk and psychology just to it are said exactly mm-hmm. if if you if you pay attention to those two things they they somehow work in tandem harmoniously harmoniously if you're confident on a trade if you're confident in your system it's easy for you to ride out losses it's easy for you to risk big percentages on your on your on your account but if you don't trust your behavior yeah in the markets mm-hmm. and you don't trust your system in mm-hmm. the markets mm-hmm. then you're left with emotional decision making mm-hmm. emotional reactions mm-hmm. you take a trade it's moving to your side maybe it's even got into a certain level just starts pulling back because of maybe a session has started or something you and you're already out of the market panic you panic mm-hmm. you just now instead of managing the trade you move to manage your emotions mm-hmm. and i think one thing that i tell traders is as a trader you need to get used to the discomfort mm-hmm. yep uh you don't make any money being comfortable doesn't exist mm-hmm. there's no way you'll be comfortable with you had three thousand dollars now it's one thousand five hundred and you're very comfortable but you need to now get comfortable with those feelings like mm-hmm. those feelings of anxiety feelings of unease and one thing that i discovered which is another exercise that i can give people i tell you it's simple just buy a book I write the book this is an emotional diary by an emotional diary i mean break it down into five sections have section one write down your trading situation Section 2 write down your thoughts of that situation section 3 write mm-hmm. down your feelings of that situation section 4 write down your actions of that situation and section 5 write down the consequences of that situation right so for example if you find yourself in a trade and the market is let's say moving uh, against you mm-hmm. and you feel like you should move your stop you think the markets have a chance of coming back lower and you decide to move your stop So how would you record that you'd write a trading situation is I'm currently in a euro yen position it's moving against me very very fast I think this is maybe a spike or a fake move to the upside I'm therefore thinking that I should move my stop that's the trading situation you're in your thoughts I'm thinking I should move my stop because I think this is a fake move just write down what you think and you'll see how stupid you are at times the thoughts that you give and yourself be honest be honest with yourself about your writing exactly go to the feeling and say i'm very very scared i'll lose this percentage mm-hmm. therefore i'm thinking i should move my stop loss in the hope that i'll make my money back mm-hmm. the action i actually moved my stop loss the consequence <coughs> I ended up losing way way more than i'd planned to lose true mm-hmm. because that is often what will happen mm-hmm. now the minute you do these things and you do them over a long period you'll really really understand the patterns that interfere with your decision making because often you don't have many many problems mm-hmm me i always think you have one problem that manifests in very very many ways right so for example if generally you have a problem with following your method it will manifest in very very many many ways 
Following your method means you have a clear exit, you have a clear entry, you have mm-hmm. a clear risk management framework. Mm-hmm. That's a method mm-hmm. trading. Now, anytime you find yourself calibrating risk depending on how you feel, how you think, where you think you should be, you're wrong. Mm-hmm. Anytime you find yourself entering and exiting trades based on how you think, how you feel, your opinion mm-hmm. of the market, you're wrong. So basically, mm-hmm. you'll find that this time it was a problem of risk. It really linked in a risk at 2% instead of 1%. Next mm-hmm. time <coughs> it will come with a problem of entry. It read in Lieka signal yango hapa instead of hapa. This time what the root cause the root cause is you're generally an indisciplined person. Mm-hmm. Like I always start my uh, the, the the psychology class I always tell people listen I've taught you my trading rules and there's a 99.9% chance you won't follow them. Mm-hmm. When will you stop following them? The minute you get your third loss in a row, you stop following those rules and you decide I'm not trading anymore based on these rules. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to stay out of markets and just do my thing or this thing doesn't work. But if 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 you're going to be trading over a hundred trades, right? How do you expect to trade a hundred trades without ever experiencing three losses in a row or four losses in a row? And you only ride sixty percent of the time. Mm-hmm. There's there's a there's a 90% chance <coughs> in your first set of 25 trades you'll have four three losing trades in a row. Mm. As much as you followed your method as much as you stuck to your system. Right? Mm-hmm. Yep. So you need to frame your mind to get used to losing and not changing anything. Like McDougall was saying a very very perfect uh, statement he said was a trader needs to learn to lose and not think of himself as a loser and mm-hmm. win and not think of himself as a winner. Well, simple terms you need to detach from the outcomes of the trade and mm-hmm. focus on the process. Mm-hmm. You get mm-hmm. if if you're not willing to do that then trading will be a very very difficult exercise for you because any time you win you'll feel like you're mm-hmm. a god any time you lose you'll feel like you're an idiot. Mm-hmm. And the emotional experience of that up and down up and down up and down It's not even something that you'd like to live through, right? And, and the consequence of that, when you lose, you want to take another trade, and when you win, you're taking bigger risks. Bigger risks, mm. or you're deviating from your system. Mm. And like you're saying, yesterday we were telling uh, the intern. Yeah, one of the most significant things is psychology. Why? Because you would make money for a whole three six months. You've made ten, 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 ten percent. Consistently. Consistently. And you have a million dollars, so you have made a lot of money. Mm. You just make one psychological error and you give back not only your gains, mm-hmm. but even the gain, the, the, the initial principle that mm-hmm. you had. Mm-hmm. Because of some simple psychological errors, mm-hmm. like irrationality. And a good point just to show that people will relate to is the same thing Will Smith did. Exactly. Irrationality. Simple minutes of irrationality. He's built his career Perfectly. Almost perfectly for over, let's, I don't know how old he is, but let's say for over 40 years. Exactly. And then in a space of less than in minutes, one to five minutes, you've done an action that <coughs> makes people now remove you from that high pedestal Kabisa. to the low pedestal. Mm-hmm. And like Lau La- was saying, no human is exempt from being irrational. Mm-hmm. Another perfect example <coughs> is Aso Andudi. Mm-hmm. The, the, the guys who are going to attack that girl. Mhm. Ah, kufanya hiyo kitu akiwa rational. Eh. Iko moments of irrationality, just simple moments of irrationality mm. and you end up in prison. Mhm. Often even the people who are in prison, aliu mm-hmm. mtu, alifanyia sije nini. Okay, there are those people who are generally criminals mm-hmm. and there are those people, there's that category. Mm-hmm. But often you'll find it was just a simple mm-hmm. moment of irrationality and it took you to a very very dark place. Mm-hmm. If there's one thing I've understood it's Those simple moments of irrationality can really ruin you. Ruin your career, ruin your life, ruin your like you really need to think hard about those moments. Mm-hmm. And one thing that I've learned, another thing that I can tell people is increase your reaction time. Mm. That's a very very good way. If there's one thing that I've understood is emotions have a very very short lifespan. Mm-hmm. A mood and an emotion is very different. That's one thing you should understand. Because if if emotions didn't have a short lifespan, they'd make it very hard for us to function effectively as humans. Because imagine being fearful for the rest of your life. 
mm. and you are aware of your fear and you're going with it mm-hmm. but there are those moments when you know you can be fear fearful mm-hmm. and you're not even aware of your fears mm-hmm. right mm. but there are those moments where for example you've seen a lion you see the fear car in a fight or flight mm. you know your money is being lost in trading you see the fight or flight but those fight or flight moments last very very few seconds Mm. So if you can just learn to increase your reaction time. Mm-hmm. Let's say you've done something, people are overreacting, people are everywhere. You know, the, the natural instinct that will come to you is for you to defend yourself, for you mm-hmm. to try and tell people, no, this is, ah, no. The fight now. Exactly. But if you can just learn, let me, and that's how some of the best war generals are people who have zen-like features. Like, they don't easily lose their minds. Which is easy to do. Which is easy to do. You imagine you're in a war, you're being attacked and then you react instead of being strategic you can mm-hmm. imagine mm-hmm. and and uh, in that in that neuroscience book he was saying uh the markets are just like war in war there are very very long stretches of boredom for, followed by very very short stretches of terror mm-hmm. and you can the markets are basically like that you have long stretches of boredom it's doing nothing any in a song but to up Then nothing boom and then you'll have a month of terror any yani movement is everywhere now you need to be very smart around how you handle those two things because if you're not careful during terror you may end up losing your mind and once you lose your mind obviously you lose your capital right so i've given up a couple of points there stop being irrational increase your reaction time right yeah understand the intersection of risk and psychology and also do a lot of I think the most important thing is what Lavi has said know thyself like if you can be able to know your trigger points if you can be able to know when you're going into certain mental states because everything that you're saying won't work if you're not even aware exactly mm. it doesn't work it, it, it just breaks down like mm. and uh, 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 another thing traders do wrong they know they are doing these mistakes instead of now being open around it wakubali eh nilmeluzido because kwanza it trade was an overconfident nika risk 3% wa rule book uko inafaa kuwa maximum 1 asa hiyo kwanza atata hiyo was like hiyo nanga haezi journal so you won't like you won't know you won't know this is what is making me lose money like instead of you working on your self awareness you are running away from it exactly ona so in a in trading asa tena and it's cause you are your stuff yeah your human nature to steal humans who don't like losing mm-hmm. so whenever how many how, how many times do people speak up about their winners and not their losers very many times eh? all the time all the time mama na mtu ko proud that najua nilipara ah angalia size case bill tokea juzi mama na wasi wa 200 wakiji promote at you najua manze i worked hard you are doing well improve it's only the winners <laughs> i'll improve i'll have a 150 by that is lucky but society i depend the losers so as humans we want to avoid that scenario whereby we are in that state unaona eh hey. and the same thing happens in loss aversion you are in a loss trap unajua sasa niko down 20% bado utaki kutoka. Unaona? So point is don't run away from understanding your weaknesses. Zikubali, love them, embrace them, then you can work on them, they turn to your strength. Eh, hey, can continue. And that is one thing I'd, I'd say one thing that I realized also <coughs> when I was just looking at my trading was how much we tend to run away from really our errors. But a jamaa chapa back test clean akiangalia jano luko afuati back test lakini jua me lose kabla angalia one hii ni discipline narudi huko kwanza kwa back test acha nipige kwanza back test ingine tena 200 setups come back the same same afanya over and over alikuwa confident ah iko sawa kumbe mimi ndo sifuati rules mm. anarudi mm. and trade trade he doesn't make he doesn't follow the simple rules he set for himself mm-hmm. he yeah. just doesn't follow them what happens again same thing same thing you lose mm. money but you're basically in denial you mm. don't want to face your reality and mm. denial is one of the ways of ego defense mechanisms mm-hmm. there's a very yeah. good book by there that you can read it's called ego and its defense mechanisms mm-hmm. it's done by anna freud who's who's the daughter of sigmund freud mm-hmm. yeah so she gives nine ways which people use to avoid pain because 
your ego will rather be dead than prove you wrong exactly it will rather make you dead than you, you're proven wrong that's how the ego works so that's how people lose money in the market you lose everything you exactly you're dead. <laughs> you're dead rather than just being <laughs> wrong exactly mm. just just wrong, cut loss, yeah. cut loss. Yeah. Yeah. come on <laughs> and you accept you being wrong mm. the way the ego works yeah. it's you'd rather be dead than wrong yeah. and that's very true in trading mm. it happens a lot Th- then just saying i'm wrong I'd rather be dead. And what are some of the ways people use one rationalizations? How many times do you hear traders say, "I trade unajua nilitoka ji eh rationalizing things. You're just hiding from, from mm. intellectualization." Mm. Philosophically, ji ni 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 ah denial. Mm. <laughs> you don't want to face your fears. You don't mm-hmm. want to face some of the things that you're, you're going through. So mm-hmm. you're in denial. Utaki ku accept and you know the way denial works is you must first lie to yourself before you can even uh, when you're in denial you're lying to yourself first the most because you're the easiest person to fool mm-hmm. it's True. not easy for me to fool you guys but to fool myself mm-hmm. yeah, it's very easy for me to fool myself and I believe it and I follow it mm. so those are some of the things that if you have not figured out a way to understand that psychological mm. literature and you're still wasting a lot of time looking for a perfect system <laughs> you're still very far from really understanding what it takes to become a successful trader because mm-hmm. for you to become a successful trader you must really work on your psychology you must think differently from how the guy next to you is thinking like you're saying when you're walking in the street like i always see people overreacting nowadays and i'm just like wow ya zem kileta hizi tabia kwa market hey hey sio huyu amenifanyia nini hizo nini 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 madrama madrama tu shanga wewe hii ukiweka kwa market can you make it drama coin you can't you can't make a coin so you must learn to be very very calm and strategic i feel like that's that's what i'd say calm and strategic yes you'll react Mm-hmm. but react after thinking don't mm-hmm. react then think <laughs> exactly <laughs> and that is what i was saying on uh, impulsivity like uh, that checklist really, really helps you fast you know some increasing your reaction time eh njebele checklist ile wangatu ah tumefika hapa kwa Rwan niko ndani uko sure but hey you start serious you increase your reaction time so that before you you just execute your trade you have more time to think more time to mm. pre analyze more time it's like what you're saying Caleb, mental rehearsal before you quit trade imagine in enda kwa stop loss mhm acha ku imagine tu ni tp as i like how like how people take trades or how rather i was taking trades kitambo i tell myself yo hapa pia kuna venye kuna chance ni 1% to risk and si mingi we chukua tu then i realized is he 1% ndo zinachukua anga ile gain yote una make kwa your good trades pole pole tu so you have very good trades but is he 1% 1% zimechukua all the gains you made you end up with making 3% 4% yeah. Well, yeah. well in that month you'd have returned 10 15 if you're just focused on following your method so for me i'd say I've said a couple of things I'm sure if you are keen you'll call it the mental good. rehearsal exactly but it's very very important for you to do that mm. to imagine okay I'm taking this trade mm-hmm. if it's going against me kwanza first of all I'm bound to be fearful mm-hmm. but okay yes I'm fearful but obviously I won't exit just because it's going against me mm-hmm. I have a stop loss point mm-hmm. I have a target mm-hmm. I have my entry which are the entry signals you're looking for because mm-hmm. trading is about anticipation mm-hmm. You don't, you don't make any money exactly you don't make any money saying what happened mm-hmm. you make money thinking about what will happen mm-hmm. but you don't make any money thinking what will happen with based on predictions you react mm-hmm. so you can say i'm waiting for abcd to happen and then i'll make a decision mm-hmm. but you don't say i know abcd will happen so i'm going to make money because i'm going to take this position mm-hmm. the minute you're doing that you're predicting mm-hmm. and john kenneth calpreth said what There are two classes of forecasters. Those who don't know and those who those don't who know they don't know. Don't know. Bust. <laughs> <laughs> so there's one class of they don't know. Mm. And then there's a class they don't know even they don't know. Mm-hmm. So they even further away. And like that's from, where you are when you're starting. Exactly. 
and there are very many traders who are in that second class mm. they don't even know it, they don't know which is worse yeah and that's why i'm saying now when you read books and do that you become aware exactly Mm-hmm. So you, you know, start working on it. Mimi nikwapa kwa hawa tu wenye wajui hata wajui kumbe. You accept tunakubali ujui and you start working on it. Si si ndo uko na rush like I need to mm-hmm. uh, no it doesn't work that way. You need to be mm-hmm. very very patient and strategic when you approaching the markets. Okay. Ah uh, mimi my next point um I believe you need to be very now this is another this is a skill now you need to learn because it's not that easy but you need to be very very observant of yourself and that of others you learn a lot learn from it for example mm-hmm. like sisi the three of us we've learned a lot from each other i've seen in a in a in a in a, in a lost trap you're like hey this is what happens when someone is in a lost trap i'm a to accept accept like, boss uh, atoki kabisa is not coming out i've seen i've seen us blowing accounts or when someone is winning to win big then you start increasing all of a sudden it's gone down so you're observing observing don't just also for you from yourself observe that now i'm in a lost trap yani nime nimeshindwa kutoka kabisa like you get my point mm-hmm. so so observe others and also in terms of observing you'll observe also the good things Okay especially the we've la- we've learned a lot from Gitosh from observing yeah Gitosh you'll never know if Gitosh is in a loss or he's in a winner never ever every single day we've for the past how many years two two years yeah. never any single day will you know that this guy is stressed or happy or sad ni constant and exactly. consistency in one side will bring consistency on the other side but anyway my point is to say the more you observe someone and the mistakes they are making the good things they are doing like what Ken is saying observe someone else's response time uh you learn a lot from it like how someone responds to when they're having a winners when they're having losses you learn from it you'll see someone who's observing a very good winner making too much money increasing risk and then all of a sudden he may turn so that's another point that I'd like to point out observe be very observant of yourself and that of others another thing is like Ken was saying buy a book write things down and like the book you're saying for how like now what may normally teach in my last cast journal And for me the main thing I normally teach because you know you can't tell someone to journal every day their emotions or whatever journal your thought processes in trading in your trades whatever trade you have maybe you might not be able to let's say today I don't have a trade and just journaling it's also good if you can but you cannot make sure each and every trade you journal how it happened before while you're in the trade and post Because all those three are important. Before is, was I calm or was I greedy? Was I following my uh, trading plan? Was I emotional? Okay. Was I feeling fear of missing out? A market has already started moving. I jumped into it. Then the next thing, and I also show my students this in the class. I normally show them the trades that I do badly. Like, look at this one, how, how badly I started and I journaled. Like, I'm doing a mistake. I know I'm doing it. I refused to come out. and it went into a loss and even a journal down there cause on my journaling if you come for our courses we're going to teach you and right now we've built we've made we're about to launch by the time you listen to this podcast it will be already out we're launching our trading floor where students can come and learn uh from other traders and from us as well on a whole trading floor everyone with their monitors the screen is there and we're all learning from one another so make sure you book for the april and the may classes which is uh enrolling right now but back to my point is my point in terms of journaling when i'm teaching my class is at the end of it there's also the lesson learned okay you've journaled all this your thought process your emotion mm-hmm. now the most important thing you're going to learn from each and every trade is not the money you made or the money you lost it's the lesson you learned exactly. and then you normally teach on all those trading lessons you've done so you'll have like let's say 10 trades a month mm-hmm. each trade maybe each trade you've learned maybe two or three things let's say two on average okay now at the end of the month take all those lessons you've learned and compile them and then now learn from that like every month you can even write a book by the end of a year every month you've just gathered gathered just each and every lesson that you've learned at the end of it okay so i normally do that i teach them that how to do that how to do it consistently like tara so saying you also have a checklist that can help you in terms of the journaling and all that but i teach you all that in the in the in the trading classes so come for it so yeah so those two three two things are very important and then uh, maybe one more that i can also add before you continue tara this one is very technical but i believe it helps and it's what you are mentioning it 
make sure you do back testing before you forward test the back tested system very true very true okay very true i've seen it between us and between our interns back testing is what has it's like it's a boost of confidence exactly it's just you're like eh hey, i've back tested my system for 20 years you've gotten certain results that are positive that can give you money eh hey, I'd, I mean, never anyone has done a back test. I always see them walking tall, walking with their shoulders high. I've gotten a system that's going to make me money. Exactly. So make sure you do your back testing. In terms of psychology, improving your psychology, the back test is going to boost your confidence, okay? And sort of, let me just say, a little bit, not too much, but uh, lower your, your, your fearfulness of the system. Okay, because mm-hmm. before maybe I've taught you a system. You take two trades, you've already lost. Yeah, you're, you're already depression. <laughs> you're already de- 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 uh, de- uh, I worked uh, in. Can the can assist if he's been winning? <laughs> 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 so yeah, make sure yeah, to important. do. That's important. Mm. That's important. Back testing. Back test before you forward test, because I believe we're normally back testing, and then now you forward test the back tested system, and then once you see the forward testing is working, now you have a system. You get now now you 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 know this system can work for a long time yeah mm-hmm. so make sure you do that it's very very much going to help your confidence so so those three points that That's I've nice. said mm. for me I can add on uh, to say um you need to understand that you can never control the markets mm-hmm. so but you can only control yourself that is out there everyone knows that so first of all understand to if let stuff in a move mm-hmm. almost some um, any it's almost random mm. so you can't control it you can't control a pullback so mm-hmm. if you if a pullback comes and you are becoming fearful mm-hmm. understand who is controlling hey, understand to he pull back yani hata nikiata nikiomba kwa saja haifanyi kitu eh it work so and that removes your your factor of fear you know like when you know you're the one in control mm-hmm. not uh, 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 the markets mm-hmm. so maybe you, you know okay you market na pullback it's natural for you to do that i like yeah. Because the market, what are the characteristics of the market? In mm-hmm. a it's almost random. It's not there to 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 steal from you and give that person. The market in a move to mm-hmm. basically giving feedback in terms of price. Mm-hmm. This is not any reaction there to. Maybe I can make a bad reaction, I lose money. Mm-hmm. You can make a good reaction, you make money. Mm-hmm. So see, the market is good to you and bad to me. Mm-hmm. So I understand. And a point on that, mm-hmm. as you're continuing, Alex normally telling, I tell my students, you're never a victim of the market, you're just a participant. Exactly. Never victimize yourself. Eh, hey, these things against me. Eh, yeah, it's yeah, always yeah, attacking yeah, yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just to <laughs> yeah, you're just a participant. <laughs> Everyone is a but participant. Don't you think? I was thinking about it. Mm. Markets is going to inflection points. Like like Clau you are saying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Also one thing I've learned is uh markets ni sisi. It's me, mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. We build up uh, the market. It's us. Uh, it's us. No, Without mm-hmm. humans market may stop. May stop. Mm-hmm. Now there are pain points in the market. Mm-hmm. Right? Like kuna we can have a setup. You know there's a <laughs> specific level of interest on a particular area. Then we have very many orders placed there. Then there's a pain point. I know if I start moving, if the market just starts moving on the opposing side, there's a point where the pain now becomes too much. There's a point where now the pain is building up. Like una zone is if you talk about charts. Yeah, true. Like you can see pain pain like pain points you can see all the people who are taken up a certain set of being pushed to the edge before the thing finally comes back and 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 goes. Mm-hmm. So let's say like Also one thing I've learned is you must be sort of a critical thinker in the markets. Mm-hmm. You must think in in terms of those things like mm-hmm. how many people or 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 when fundamental releases happen. Mm-hmm. Like let's say uh we expected a rate hike. Mm-hmm. Like who cares when they have removed it? Kila mtu alikona joy rate hike in a So you when you're thinking hey rate hike imekuja na hii market inapanda juu. Boss There's no surprise mm-hmm. like everyone expected a rate hike true so what you're looking for was priced in long time ago, ago. Yeah. long time ago mm-hmm. the only time when markets will react how you didn't expect is when you get a surprise mm-hmm. that time everyone is surprised mm-hmm. that's why the markets will react in the way they'll react mm-hmm. but anytime 
what is coming has already been said and then you are acting on it you are trading lagging things your own things your, your own things now you are no mm-hmm. longer trading the system mm-hmm. you are trading because if you look at markets historically markets start going up when they start hiking rates mm-hmm. start going down like there are very many things which happen which you'll think wow aren't these things supposed to do the opposite mm-hmm. but markets are always forward looking like mm-hmm. they are never backward looking so they'll always be looking forward uh, before you 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 decide what what you're going to be doing mm-hmm. in markets yep okay i think i can add my final point before you go on uh, my point was don't wrestle the crocodile every day <laughs> 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 so don't do it just repeat that don't wrestle the crocodile every day uh, and once and some days some days you can <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. my point is um the psychological challenges comes to us when we're in trades mm-hmm. when you're out of trades most times you're very very objective very mm. no, no. Ah, very but the moment you get to you say your trade you can make 40 pips you can do 20 mm. no, no. Mm. Madness. Umepata trade ngine not very perfect usha wrestle crocodile. Mm. Ke nuko kuna trader na McDonald gold uko na to wrestle na. So point is mm, tradeless. Mm. Because it 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 it'll reduce the number of times you're being psychologically challenged. Cuz trading is difficult even for those who are 40 years in the game. Yet sa eh yet sa say Our nanga yo psychological challenges. Ziko. Mm. Eh, hey, ziko. Ataka uko successful. Eh. Hey. Ataka una make do. <laughs> Even if you make money, mm-hmm. but still you still have those stuff inside you. Mm-hmm. So uh and this is actually mostly to beginners. Mm. Mse bado hata you don't know what you are going for. Like you don't know your 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 your, your winning edge kabisa. Mhm. So you're still trying to work out to, things to create it. Mm. And mm. you are trading every day, trading 15 markets. Kama ni pound uko na pound 10. Mhm. Kama pound moja tu iki pull back inakuwa stress. Mm-hmm. Asa imagine 10 ume, ume trade pound 10 trades different mm-hmm. levels. Say moja ianze ku pull back. That is 10 times more emotional damage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So point is uh don't wrestle the crocodile every day and also um take risks that you're comfortable around. Mm-hmm. Cuz you know most times most times uh uh, uh most times our most traders who actually get into loss traps and stuff is because the risk they took it destroyed their psychological framework the pato jamaa ta ako fit psychological against that you risk ali ekelea tu there's no way ange kwa soba yeah, there's no way you cannot be fearful <laughs> as you are saying Jan, you can't go to sleep with 10% <laughs> exactly <laughs> you have kalib you have 10 million you have a million and risk and you sleep you can't exactly mm-hmm. so can't. in a show it will bring fear unaona Okay win as a random was because you took a very 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 big risk you won as a 10% to win 20%. So the next time again you will come and do the same thing. So my point is always always even if, like even on your setup so when you come to realize that uh, even on my trading not all the setups you, you I'm a, not all the the setups that looks like yours is yours. <laughs> no, no. Market can come to okay I don't know for my students they can understand this markets can come to R1 but not all markets that come to R1 is a good magnet mm una kuna ingine inaweza kuja hapo R1 but you na bypass gfish eh so mm. and intuitively you can always tell this is a bad trade as much as it's systematic eh una feel yani iko ready eh iko sawa sana lakini bado tuta para ninja i'm feel so no na like reduce the number of times you want to wrestle this crocodile because markets are difficult Mm. And if you think like if you think um even look at most great traders they don't have a 80% hit rate 90% hit rate or kuna 50 60 hapo asa ina show hata say they know out of 10 i will lose four they lose yeah or five eh una joke ngi kuna hit rate 99 na zaresa look record every day ah i was there's <laughs> one thing better have learned also and yeah, which is impossible what about 99 hit rate utapata wapi ukiata e game bila selectivity <laughs> <It's impossible laughs> yeah, exactly yani yeah, without being mm. selective looking for mm. the best the best mm. any what best we call the, the grade best. a plus mm. plus Trades. not just the grade a your grade plus, a kuja bypass mm. mm-hmm. adile plus plus mm-hmm. so that basically that will reduce the number of times you put yourself into the markets mm-hmm. reduce the number of times you become fearful you become greedy you want to trade at a mega major shikana you want to put 2% no no but if you know for me my objective it also comes to objectives have reasonable objectives 
Unapata some say akona objective nyingine wild ya ku make 100% per month. Mm. That guy will have the most challenging psychological month. Because one the risks will be taking even if he win some some here, lose some here. Psychologically too, the the uh, the amount of money um when this guy starts losing because winning is always okay. But so losing, how many times have you made a 300% return then the next trade is a is a is a 100% loss? Una lose everything. Me I me have done that. Mm. Nilikuwa na return ya 1100%. Mm-hmm. The next trade was a 99% <laughs> loss. Uh, and that is because Lost out trap. of business. That is because <laughs> Like uh, I was risking much in the Kamek down no no. Uh-huh. Very very good time. The markets were good and I, I was pumping I, like nilikuwa na plunge mbaya. Uh-huh. And I made a lot of money. So that I can I can pair a bad behavior. So I can believe okay even though in work. He put four trades. Uh-huh. So no no. So point is I was wrestling the crocodile a lot. Na unakuja sasa unapata you are not even uja build no no. Uh-huh. Bado ni weak boy and you want to wrestle this crocodile. Uh-huh. So at least build build kwanza jenga jenga juu hata nimeenda gym kiasi stuff eh so you in trade we call it the mental gym mm-hmm. I take your brain to the gym mm-hmm. before you come and uh, start trying to make money in the markets so point is if you want to trade every day guys it's not a daily business you have okay you have to show up every day but you can't trade every day and make money every day so point is also no those days where by those trades you will bypass those days where by you're okay with not having a trade Mm-hmm. Naweza kuwa sina trade na Kenya kuna 2000 dollars running in profit. Sasa nikiona hasa hapa manzee hii wiki sijaunda kitu. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Niingie. <laughs> It becomes very very difficult. So I think that can also be a point whereby if you if you if you if you if you learn to trade less put put less action in the markets even be less reactive in the markets. If you kukusha ingia trade too. Very few times should you be able to tweak that trade. If you enter if you enter trades and 95% of the time you are tweaking trades you are not even picking good trades. Eh, no no. Uliingia trade, you may move 30 pips sasa usha toka. You're aiming for 100. Ime pull back to, to, to your stop loss kidogo hivi ama imeenda close to your stop loss usha toka. Usha toka. Exactly. So like reduce the number of times you're making actions in the market. It will reduce the number of times you become psychologically challenged because point is um trading is all about decision making. So the decisions you make in the markets, the key more pia that quite difficult for you so I think that can be a point for how to uh, improve improve your psychology you see trade sana mm-hmm. for me I'd say two last points one is scared money never wins mm-hmm. if you're in the market and you're fearful you'll not make money mm-hmm. not even a single time and because fear prevents you from doing the right thing in the markets mm-hmm. all the time exactly a good opportunity comes you fear mm-hmm to nearly lose last time there's no opportunity you're fearing you're missing out when you love and them kale blew a munda 3000 bana miss na kitu cha niende why mm-hmm. you fear mm-hmm. you have a setup it's perfect you're fearing you'll be wrong mm-hmm. scared money never makes money in the markets let that sink in if you're fearful you won't make a dime but if you respect the markets You need to be respecting the markets not to be fearful. Mm. By respecting I mean understand this thing is dangerous. True. Joga ogo pangyo za ziwako lakini una respect. Yani you respect your parents, right? You don't fear them. You have reverence. Exactly. <laughs> so you respect people. Mm-hmm. Like I don't fear you Kale but I mm-hmm. respect you. Mm-hmm. The same Acha sa market zuko unaogopa eh unaogopa sana mm-hmm. just respect it like no eh this game mm-hmm. it's very very dangerous mm-hmm. if i don't play it by these rules then it's very very hard for me to navigate mm-hmm. but if i play it by these rules mm-hmm. it's very easy for me now also to make money in the markets just simple following of rules mm-hmm. and you'll be able to make money consistently in the markets mm-hmm. right My last point would be do your own work. Mm-hmm. Do your own work. Very important. Right? Mm-hmm. Yes, you learn a lot from people, you interact with traders, you could even belong to a community of traders. But by the end of the day, mm-hmm. I've not seen anyone make money consistently saying You know me I always work with this person and we always come up with good ideas of how to trade. <laughs> mm-hmm. You need to come back and do your own work. Mm-hmm. 
even after like if you come for our courses we can teach you how to trade but we cannot make you profitable true being profitable is a function of your own efforts me dog pay to road map na kwambia listen if you pay attention to these things then you can get to where i am but if you don't pay attention to these things i'm sorry true. it can't work Yeah. Now unfortunately traders think there's a way you can cheat the process you know as i buy bauko kwa kenya and setups zake ni meiva no work do your own research do your own journal do your own reviews you can interact with people you can have accountability partners but by the end of the day success boils down to your own, your own effort work. your own thinking process your own instinct like you have to be able to have that in your trading True. before you can make any money. True. So that would be my last point. Cool. For me as I finish off my last point is in terms of improving trading psychology, uh meditate. Very important. Uh, meditation, important. meditation. Meditate. Meditate. <laughs> or get these techniques that can help like for and simple one. Just before like what you're saying increase your response time do the breathing technique exactly. yeah. in out. out for like a minute five breaths uh, five, uh, deep five, breaths. five deep breaths in self talk self talk like what you're saying exactly do something that can ease your mind is square like if if will smith just breathe in breathe eh before you go began ah some breathing cuz five breaths and I'm going to say you make a way way better decision exactly i forget too much of breathing on i visualize all that then eh, come back to my senses yeah so so do that do find something to do that can help a uh, deep meditation in the long term like what dalio does can help in long term observing yourself changing a few things here and there okay or do some regular techniques that can help you just calm your mind even like maybe exercise yeah, swimming sure. you know those things that can go nature walk can now these are in different times yet in the trade that hey i can keep in nature but those are just the the one for breathing and all that is the short term one then the others do it on a regular basis Then another one I have my second last one. Um this one is a bit professional. It's a bit long term but in the long term get a psychologist. Yeah. Also may I have that one. That yeah, one is important. in my books. Mm. Mm. Look for a, a professional therapist. therapist, psychologist, someone who can objectively look at your state mm. and <coughs> help you improve. So in the long term if you're able work on that like what Kenny is saying it's on his checklist like his in his bucket list is working towards it. If you get that get someone who can go to their room talk about it and they can help it's immense we've seen this with many online because you know we're just learning from what we're seeing people doing as well especially abroad we're learning from that and it can help a lot so that's another thing for now since you don't have get a trading partner who you can just talk to someone who can sure. relate you know if you just go to someone tell them i'm experiencing this in a very tough takwambia acha ikitu acha hii stuff unajitesa bure easy way out <laughs> just quit so get someone who who's doing the same thing and you can talk to a community or someone you just talk about openly without the other person being judgmental because like us if someone just comes and tells us we'll tell them we understand not that a hey, we criticize them badly so get someone and then my last one uh, all this everything we've said just to sum it up it takes time exactly yeah it takes, time. Uh, it it takes experience patient. any experience uh, the same way you won't uh, be hired one month well i need to you only skip the podcast flying this is an my vision exactly i think it's a good way to sum it up uh, it, it takes, takes time. time man just yeah, give it time you'll know this become aware you'll go and do it over and over again but the more you're aware of it and you know you're doing it over it will take time then you'll just work on it so for me to end it there that's that's my points to finish it give it time delay the gratification sooner or later it will just compound and add up that's nice mm-hmm. yep. i think on your point on um text time for me I can finish up with uh great traders are not born they are made and you have to make yourself a great trader mm-hmm. I I you. You work for trading so like understand that you can also be a great trader no no Yeah, true. Like, you, you, you point of never giving up. No, no. Mm. if other great traders have done it, I can also do it. Mm-hmm. Okay, face the challenges, uki blow account, nini ki happen. Is the challenges zote because you, you like you can't develop this psychological chal- uh, 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 frameworks without going through those challenges. Mm-hmm. 
So like are you are, are you able to 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 go through those challenges without giving up mm-hmm. resilience um, yeah resilience um, resilient enough to come back Exactly like elewa tu hata mimi if like if you believe in yourself if you believe in this career elewa mm-hmm. tu yes it will take time and I'll also be great mm-hmm. so but if you you can lose unaanza kuji doubt na hii career ni yangu kweli <laughs> exactly so have the confidence that you will also be a great trader for sure but if you doubt yourself you doubt that uh, uh you don't want to give yourself that time sure three months you may lose a thousand dollars you're out mm. there's no way you will make money in trading so mm-hmm. eventually it boils down to are you willing to give the time trading deserves mm-hmm. are you willing to be patient are you willing to go through those challenges the pain being broke for so long mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's very it's it's something very Mm-hmm. He career to ni one of the most difficult career in the world mm-hmm. but it's also most the uh, one of the most rewarding Rewarding. careers. So point is that never give up believe you can make yourself a great trader also. I think I can finish up there. Thank you so much for listening to me. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah guys, thank you for listening in. I think uh, you've learned a lot like you said Taras has concluded just give it give it time. You're going to learn all this. It takes time to unlearn what you already know. So give it time. And yeah, At the end of it you'll become very good at understanding psychology and it will become a laughing matter you're like you're just laughing at yourself you aren't even on a reacting and all that and you'll see it also in real life so balance the two but anyway we'll end it there uh, and uh, like I was saying we inside the podcast by the time you're hearing this we'll be having our trading floor uh, that we've just launched because we're launching it this week and I'm sure you're listening to this podcast it's always a week after we've recorded so we have our trading floor so come come to our cl- uh, visit us at Jake Watt Towers 17th floor come and listen to what we're uh, come and see what we're doing we're building one of the greatest things you're going to see in Africa and you can be part of that journey okay so come visit us uh, most of what we've taught here we teach them deeply in our classes and in our courses how to back test how to journal how to create a system and all that we've all intertwined it and also in our book that we've compiled the for, uh, template for understanding the forex market so yeah so that's it from us i'll see you guys soon uh, enjoy your rest of the week and um yeah may the pips be with you peace